His conversion is a conversation starter. His persecution becomes his platform and pulpit. His shipwrecks and snake bites become sermons to the people he loves. Paul is not deterred by injustice. He is not distracted by hate and hurt and frustration and misunderstanding. His love in Christ, through Christ, bids him to have a conversation with the people that he loves and longs to tell them about Jesus. Who do you love? Who do you live with? Who do you call my nation, my brothers, my sisters? Who do you have common interest with, hobbies? Who, does, who, do, who are the people that your schedule lines up with? Who do you naturally have community with? Who are your people? Do you love them in a way that makes you long to share Jesus with them? Or if you find a perfect church, don't go there because you'll mess it up. We're not perfect because all of you and all of me are sinful. We're broken. We're a mess. And we need Jesus. And here we are, where we are. And guess what? Our hope is in Jesus. Our hope is in the hope of Israel. That's where Paul put his hope, and it radically changed his life.